personal plea from a mother to a man she called her son turn that's how my daughter had me looking i ain't even gonna lie man. my daughter be having her head done looking like that that's how she look after she she ain't had her head done for like a day or two and she's been outside playing <laughs> Oh, shit. Tonight, a personal plea from a mother to a man she called her son. Turn yourself in. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office is looking for 28-year-old Jalen McCollins, who is wanted for homicide. He's accused of killing two people in southeast Shelby County, one of them a woman he dated for years. WREG's Ashley Paul joins us live tonight as the search for McCollins continues. Steph, family members tell us tonight they are mourning the life of not one, but two family members, a young woman and her father who was trying to protect his daughter during a violent breakup. He told it like, you know, the only way you're going to leave me is in a body bag. And that's what he did. A young woman and her father. So he killed this woman's daughter and her husband. The only way you're going to leave me is in a body bag. This is an old mug shot because they're looking for him now. This is an old mug shot. <laughs> Why every black dude got a mug shot on file, man? <laughs> they, they, they got a, a plethora. They're like, uh, Jalen McCollins, we need a picture for Jalen McCollins. Uh, here, here's a mug shot. <laughs> Go through and just pick up one. <laughs> Shit. Only way you're going to leave me is in a body bag. Family members tell us tonight they are mourning the life of not one, but two family members, a young woman and her father who was trying to protect his daughter during a violent breakup. He told it like, you know, the only way you're going to leave me is in a body bag. And that's what he did. Now we got to prepare a funeral. It's a situation Frank Gotti is struggling to accept. He's known to many in Memphis as a community activist who has dedicated his life to... A community activist, Frank Gotti. <laughs> My man name is Frank Gotti. How do you think he got the nickname Gotti? Uh, who, who, who can tell me how he got the nickname Gotti? Frank Gotti. Situation Frank Gotti is struggling to accept. He's known to many in Memphis as a community activist who has dedicated his life to making Memphis safer. Except this time, his relatives are the victims. It's been rough, you know. It's been rough because this stuff you you know you see uh, see happening in other families or on you know in movies and things like that. You know, you never wake up and think that this would be happening at your doorstep. Quite literally, this video shows the moments 28-year-old Jalen McCollins is seen arguing with 22-year-old Antony Stewart outside a home on Newfound Gap Road early Monday morning. Moments later, deputies say McCollins pulled a gun and shot Stewart. Family says the argument started when Stewart tried to break up with McCollins, who she had been dating for three years. It's just senseless to where he he's not wasn't in control of his emotions properly for a young man. What? These people so nice to killers, man. Man, you know how much shit I get on for being a Trump supporter, man. I listen. I get I get more venom and animus for being a Caitlyn Clark supporter than these people give to the person who killed their relative, man. That shit crazy, man. He told it like, you know, the only way you're gonna leave me is in a body bag. And that's what he did. Now we got to prepare a funeral. It's a situation Frank Gotti is struggling to accept. He's known to many in Memphis as a community activist who has dedicated his life to making Memphis safer. Except this time, his relatives are the victims. It's been rough. You know, it's been rough because this stuff, you, you know, you see, uh, see happening in other families or on, you know, in movies and things like that. You know, you never wake up and think that this would be happening at your doorstep. 
Quite literally, this video shows the moments 28-year-old Jalen McCollins is seen arguing with 22-year-old Anthony Stewart outside a home on Newfound Gap Road early Monday morning. Moments later, deputies say McCollins pulled a gun and shot Stewart. Family says the argument started when Stewart tried to break up with McCollins, who she had been dating for three years. It's just senseless to where he he's not wasn't in control of his emotions properly for a young man. Sonia Witherspoon says her niece was a sweet, loving young lady, and her brother-in-law, 66-year-old Gary Newman, was also shot while trying to protect her. Very, very kind man, family man, um, as much as to allow Jalen into his home to be able to um, commit this horrendous act. The family says they loved McCollins as if he were blood, which makes coming to terms with these allegations even more heartbreaking. Stewart's mother didn't want to go on camera, but she has this message for McCollins. I would love for you, son, I still call you son. I would love for you to turn yourself in. She says she still call him son. Mm. Message for McCollins. I would love for you, son. I still call you son. I would love for you to turn yourself in. Do it for me. You claim you love me. Love me enough. She said, he said he's trying to get his Xbox and she said no. Oh yeah. She told him if she told him if she told him he can't get his Xbox, man. Oh shit. Yeah, man. That's like that's like one of y'all wives telling you you can't watch Op Nation tonight, man. Your wife take your laptop, man. You can't. You not watching Op Nation tonight. Like what, bitch? You to turn yourself in. Do it for me. You claim you love me. Love me enough to turn yourself in. Just a heartbreaking situation. Now, deputies say McCollins is armed and dangerous, and this is not his first run-in with the law. If you have any information on his whereabouts, contact law enforcement immediately. For your news leader, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3. Well, new this morning, an update on that deadly Juneteenth shooting in Round Rock. The Round Rock Police Department announced they have arrested a third person in connection with that shooting. Police say 18-year-old Keyshawn Dixon was arrested yesterday in Killeen. He was taken to the Bell County Jail. Dixon is charged with deadly conduct. That is a third-degree felony. Police say he could face more charges. During the city's annual Juneteenth Festival, police say two groups got into a fight near the vendor stands. Well, eventually, someone pulled out a gun and fired. Two people were killed. 14 were injured. Police officials say this investigation is not over, and they are still looking for more suspects. So this arrest brings the total number of suspects up to at least three. You may remember two teenagers have already been arrested in connection to that shooting. 17-year-old Ricky Thompson III was taken into custody first. He's charged with aggravated assault. Police say Thompson admitted to firing three shots at another teenager during that event. He's due in court later this month. Now, police haven't given much information on the second suspect. We do know he was arrested on June 21st. So they finally caught the third suspect from the Round Rock, the Round Rock Juneteenth shooting. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you support the channel via PayPal, Cash App with a Super Chat. Least you can do is hit the like button. Most you can do is take the $5 challenge. Well, new this morning, an update on that deadly Juneteenth shooting in Round Rock. The Round Rock Police Department announced they have arrested a third person in connection with that shooting. Police say 18-year-old Keyshawn Dixon was arrested yesterday. Man, bring back conks, man. Bring back jerry curls and conks, man. We need to bring back conks, man. Maybe that's the, the that's the um 
that's the um bring back the comp man that might be the solution to all this man now that i think about it man that might be the solution to all this man bring back the conch man the days when brothers wore conchs man them was the days man the good old days man bring back the good old days man when brothers wore conchs man let me show you what a conch is man that's a conch, man. Yeah, man. The good old days, man. The conch, man. Bring back the conch. All the black stars of yesteryear wore conk, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Cause this nappy head generation, man, they they causing a lot of trouble, man. <laughs> Bring back the conk, man. Nah, pink oil moisturizer ain't gonna do that. Pink oil moisturizer just make your hair shiny and and full. It don't it don't make it straight like this. You need to just lie. Put some lie up in that motherfucker. Fry that shit at the root. This is lie right here. Yeah, man, bring this back. Man, every time we do a story, some nappy-headed little urchin doing it. Maybe if we bring back, maybe we bring back cops, man. These Negroes are act right, man. Well, new this morning, an update on that deadly Juneteenth shooting in Round Rock. The Round Rock Police Department announced they have arrested a third person in connection with that shooting. Police say 18-year-old Keyshawn Dixon was arrested yesterday in Killeen. He was taken to the Bell County Jail. Dixon is charged with deadly conduct. That is a third degree felony. Police say he could face more charges. During the city's annual Juneteenth Festival, police say two groups got into a fight near the vendor stands. Well, eventually, someone pulled out a gun and fired. Two people were killed, 14 were injured. Police officials say this investigation is not over and they are still looking for more suspects. So this arrest brings the total do you realize there have been like 50 mass shootings since this, and this just happened on Juneteenth? <laughs> this literally happened on Juneteenth. And then and 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 let me let me show y'all how many mass shootings there have been since this happened. And this happened on Juneteenth. This happened on Juneteenth. Where this nigga went and did that shit. This happened on Juneteenth. Since then, since then, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so how about this? Let's not go all the way back to June team, man. Let's just go back to July 4th. Okay? Let's just go back to July 4th, man. I don't want to go back to June. Since July 4th, since July 4th, okay, ladies and gentlemen, since July 4th, there have been 19 mass shootings. There have been 19 mass shootings since July 4th. And this happened on Juneteenth. There have been 19 mass shootings since July 4th. And one of them was a white dude. One of them. The one in Kentucky, Florence, Kentucky. 18 of them been sun turds. 19 mass shootings since July 4th. God, dog. And one of them being a white dude. Actually, someone pulled out a gun and fired. Two people were killed, 14 were injured. Police officials say this investigation is not over and they are still looking for more suspects. So this arrest brings the total number of suspects up to at least three. You may remember two teenagers have already been arrested in connection to that shooting. 17-year-old Ricky Thompson III was taken into custody first. He's charged with aggravated assault. Police say Thompson admitted to firing three shots at another teenager during that event. He's due in court later this month. Now, police haven't given much information on the second suspect. We do know he was arrested on June 21st and was taken to the Williamson County Juvenile Justice Center. After that shooting, vigils were held to remember the lives of the two women who died. Ara Duke and Lindsay Vicnair were prominent members of their community. Luke, uh, Duke rather was a school liaison for the Boys and Girls Club. She was also a wife, a mother, and a soon-to-be 